Okay, this is part two of our session that we're doing today and talking about uh, righteousness and what it means to be righteous and when do you become righteous? Are you made righteous after you die or are you, or is it, as the scripture teaches, really you have to be righteous before you die? <laughs> and can you lose that righteousness? Can you, can you become righteous and then become unrighteous? Well, we have to understand that uh, salvation uh, and the plan of salvation was not just to forgive you of your sins. Yahuwah knew that uh, you and I needed to be changed. We needed to have a new nature. We've already talked about being born again and the necessity that you have to be born again in order to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. You have to be born again. Why? Because you were by nature, you and I were by nature children of wrath, even as others. We were spiritually dead. I share with y'all in my past videos that I've done that you know, once I got saved, there was one th I didn't know the scriptures. I didn't know, you know, anything hardly in particular about the scriptures. But there's one thing that I knew, and back, and this was many years ago, I knew that I felt alive for the first time in my life. And I even said those words without even knowing it. And then I came across the scriptures that said, you were dead, but now you are made alive. <laughs> You're alive in him. And that's what I, I, happened to me. I received eternal life. You know, you don't get uh, born again, again, every time you sin, you know, that that's ridiculous. That's why this is settled. The issue is once saved, always saved. Of course you're saved and you're always saved because you are sealed. The Bible says, according to the book of Ephesians, you're sealed unto the day of redemption. In other words, it's a, it's a, a settled fact. You're born again. You, you're a new creature in Messiah. Now, it doesn't mean that you that you can't sin. It doesn't mean that you you don't have weaknesses in your flesh where you still miss it. But these are things just are the works of the flesh, and your flesh is decaying day by day. And as I said, that Romans uh, uh, the book of Romans says that we're waiting for the the adoption to be complete, the redemption of our body. That's the only thing that needs to be done at this point is we're waiting for this body, this corruptible body to put on incorruption and this mortal body to put on immortality. But but in the realm of the Ruach, in the realm of the spirit, we are already perfected before our Father. He, the Bible says over in Colossians chapter 2, verse 10, that you're complete in him, talking about Messiah. In him, I'm already complete. <laughs> and uh, he's uh, the Bible says that, in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 5, therefore, if it, uh, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things have become new. I'm a new creature in Messiah. I, it, it's an incorruptible seed that I have inherited. That means it's not subject to corruption. It's not subject to sin. My inner man on the inside of me, you know, it repulses at sin. If you're truly born again, you're not looking a, looking a, looking a, what, looking for a way to see what you can get by with as far as sin is concerned. If you're truly born again, your heart's desire is to walk before your Father and to please Him. And when we do miss it, we know that His mercy is from everlasting to everlasting. And that sin has already been, been forgiven. All my sins have been forgiven past, present, and future. Because that's what it says over the book of Hebrews. It says, by one offering, for by one offering, he has perfected forever those who are sanctified or set apart. We're set apart unto him. We'll pick this up on our next video. Thank you for uh, listening in. Please share this with others. And until next time, shalom.